Sal, the bombers will be here any minute. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldrich, that son of a bitch. Perseus's network is still intact, though, and they'll eventually rebuild. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. 
Well, you're a wordsmith, Hudson. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell. You were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. What the plane leaves traps on is stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. 
The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Sal, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green stars, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovets. This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler. Still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bill? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seeing anything on our side either. It's him! Fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Thank you. 
Cats becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <laughs> should have been put down long ago. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm. Yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. 
You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali, your former friends killed him. No matter. Kasim was always a weak link, and the chain cannot break. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Eliezer Azule perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Unfortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was killed. Our spiring there is still intact. But we will need to rebuild and find new leadership. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate one of Rudnik's key assets. The other two will help fill the void left behind. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend.